Well, CMPD looking to cut down on crime in the new year after a spike in shootings. New data shows there have been 109 homicides so far in Charlotte this year. That's up from the 97 that happened in 2021. All this is officials work to investigate five different shootings in a period of just over 36 hours. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us now. And Richard, this all has a lot of community members on edge this morning. I mean, how can they not be? Good morning to you, Sarah. A good Friday morning as this year is closing. A lot of people are dealing with the reality that no matter where you are in the Queen City, you probably can come into close contact with violence. According to CMPD, there have been 109 homicides this year. That's up from last year, which saw 97, but not as many as in 2020, which saw 117 homicides. But not just homicides, violence has affected so many in the Queen City. Alicia McKenzie is one such person who's been affected by it. She told us how violence touched her neighborhood Wednesday night. I have small children and they kind of roam around with the other kids in the neighborhood and um, I feel safe with them doing that in this neighborhood typically. Now after this incident, uh, I'm not so sure. Around 8.30, shots from outside came inside the home of a 68-year-old woman near Brookshire Boulevard. The incident left McKenzie unsettled, joining so many who've had to deal with violence in the city. On the next day, police find a man suffering gunshot wounds on Jeff Adams Drive near I-85. He later dies at the hospital as more and more people share the same message of violence in 2022. And the hopes that 2023 will be a lot better year. Again, police saying that it's important they're doing everything they can to try to combat this violence. They say one of the things that can help from everyone in the community is whenever you see anything that seems out of the ordinary, give them a call. We're right here in Uptown, Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.